congratulations guys because we have finally reached or re-reached 6,000 subscribers now i gotta make this one quick because i already did a video and for some reason the audio was shit on it so we're just going to be uh we're, i'm going to pretend this the first time but this has been like the second time and like the last video was like 30 minutes so mm. but um seriously good job guys um this has been something that i've been trying to do for a while and um i want to go a little bit more into the uh, depth why i think this is important why you guys should be proud of this as well so um the first time we did this is when actually i got rated by nubs and um for a long time he's a good friend of mine but um we got rated because um he shouted out a video of mine i said thank you to him big time and then he was like you know i'm going to give you even a bigger rate so he rated me or he gave a shout out on his channel and i was like whoa and the cool thing was um it actually helped out a ton it helped out a ton um and i was like well i gotta milk this as, as long as i can and fun fact is probably one of my favorite thumbnails came out and also when i did the best streams but um being long story short he helped me out and i did brawl stars but it wasn't what i wanted to keep doing and i changed it i ended it for um a while and the good thing was i got a lot of his community over to my place and i was able to hang out with him and i have still a lot of their community to this day i'm not sure how long we would have survived had i not had them well my youtube channel was doing scuffed a lot of things were not really going through the algorithm and i only found out till recently why that is but i was like we're gonna switch off to twitch and what happened was basically slowly the numbers would trickle down or they only go up a little bit. But like when it came to the YouTube, it wasn't doing the best. Um, so uh, that's not why it's important. The main reason why it was important, though, is because Nubs helped me at the time. And he, he mainly got me a community that to come back, a, a, a fire up for a community. And Nubs, if you're watching this, um, even though it wasn't the best for the algorithm, but um, I don't care because I would not be here right now if it wasn't for the community that you brought forth. And I want to say thank you. Now, um, going forward from that as well, because um, I, I remember, a great guy. What um, was really bad about it was the algorithm is bad for my channel. It still is. And the reason for that is because how old it is and how many different um, avenues it goes. Because it's, it's, you know, a variety. But it's also because a lot of people that used to be subscribed are typing in different things now. Because they're other different people. It doesn't really add up for this channel. And um, the harsh thing that really hit me was I looked at, like, people that are watching now. There are so many new viewers that are watching compared to returning viewers. My returning viewers are fucked. Like, it's just fucked compared to, like, up here, which is, like, my new viewers. So, um, let's go into what made this different, what actually got us here. What made us different was I kind of sat down and I looked at where we were at, and I was like, well, there's a lot of people leaving that I used to like, a lot of people that I cared for. I'm not, I'm not going to name names, so I just, like, it hurt really bad. And I was like, well, is this it? And I, I questioned myself, and I looked back on a lot of my old videos, and I, I kind of had to relearn myself. I had to relearn what got me here and i don't really i don't like looking behind myself i don't really like looking at the past I, I i believe that we have eyes in front of us for a reason that's to look forward so that's what i was doing and i stopped for a bit i'm like there's a reason why i care so much about this and that's because so many people have sacrificed and there's a lot that i've sacrificed since guys here so um i decided no nah, we're not gonna end. we're not gonna end here and i kind of reevaluated what we're doing and i actually started a new channel um, if you guys don't remember, I took a break in this one. I started a new one. I realized that I didn't like what I was doing. And it felt like I was just trying to win. And not really live. I wanted this to feel like I was surpassing myself. I wanted to surpass my limits. So, um, I was like, let's look into the algorithm. And what I learned was beforehand, I, again, I already explained this, but long story short, there are three different things. We have live streams, shorts, videos. Beforehand, they're all their own little algorithm, right? Just ch -ch -ch. You could never really connect them. Now, though, what it's like a funnel, right? It'll start out with shorts, right? But then if someone watches enough of your content, it'll go into your main channel. And that's what really helps. So I was like, I'm going to take advantage of this shit. Um, so I uploaded literally fucking, I think if you look now, it's like over 70 shorts. Thousands of views, thousands of views, thousands of views. Literally fucking, I would grind my ass out fucking editing. Like, seriously, if you look at my Discord or you talk to some of my friends, they literally, they literally sit and call me while I'm fucking editing. They're like, what are you doing? I'm sitting my ass editing. That's what I'm doing. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of work that I put into it, but it made a difference. And now um, within the year, I'm already past probably my yearly watch time, like accumulate, like all together just because of how much I've uh, uploaded. And uh, my, my subscribers went up. And one of the best feelings was that the fact that I could look I could wake up and I actually looked at my subscriber account like jump quite a bit. And I, it like, it's like that I literally fucking dreamed of happening again. It wasn't crazy, but it did blow up a bit and it made me, it made me, it made me feel so good. So, um, that's how we got here. And that's, um, why I was able to, uh, push through it at least analytically. Um, but, um, it was also just cause of my new drive, because I, I realized that 
am I doing everything in my power to make this the best as possible? Answer is no. I can look at other channels and they're better. And I have to be in the mindset that that can't be the case. I have to have higher quality, which my videos are not super all, they weren't all super high quality. They weren't. I have to have um, a good schedule where it's consistent. You guys have to feel like you're actually reliable. I'm actually reliable. And the answer was I'm not because I'm busy, which sure, but that's still an excuse, right? And then third is you need results. And I knew that a lot of the community that was leaving was because of there wasn't results. So you're seeing that this was a giant channel, saying without saying it. And now that I can look at this channel and be like, whoa, this is like actually back at 6K, we're, we're growing. That's why we're there. That's also why I didn't do this announcement video um, at 6K because I didn't want to jump down. Right now we're at 6,015, right? So we're a little bit over, um, which is good. That basically tells me that we're just not going to just disappear right away. But um, let's go into new content really quick. Is there going to be new content? A little bit. It's going to be higher quality, but I want to go back to more of the horror route. And uh, I want this all to be kind of more like goal based. Um, I, I, I don't really want to just do like random let's plays just because like it's fun, but I feel like anybody can do that. I want this to feel like you're actually going on some kind of adventure when you're watching a video. And that's what I'm trying my best to uh, emulate. So um, that's, I guess, my mindset. But there will still be a catch of videos like this. And as a reward for reaching this, I'm sure you guys are already new, but I'm going to be making a montage for the year 2021 um, for all our best moments. So be ready for that. But um, going to. What really made me able to do this in the first place? There was a lot of people that were supportive of me, and I want to kind of go into them really quick because if it wasn't for these individuals, I wouldn't be able to do this in the first place. And I am I'm beyond blessed to know that these are the individuals that I had, because um, a lot of them, a lot of good friends I used to have again. I'm not going to name names, but they were starting to leave, and I um, I miss them. And again, I'd open you know I'd, I'd be here for open arms, but it's just like it kind of puts you in a mindset where it's like if they don't believe in it, why should I, right? And uh, the reason is because it's, it's your vision, right? It's not theirs, it's yours. So why the should they believe in something that, that you know, it's, it's yours, you know? Um, so my, the whole reason it's yours is because you've got to bring it together so that they can fucking see it. These people are the ones that come and go on, and they've still been here. And some of them have been here for fucking years. I want to go over them. So one is Barrel Boy. He's been um, probably the, the MVP of this month, but he's been around ever since Nubs. Uh, and he's been an amazing individual. Um, he's the one that's been commenting on every video. He's the one that's been um, helping out as much as possible lately. And he's really kind of taken the seat for, like, really uh, the lead star for um, kind of guiding my hand the way it should be. So, Beryl, thank you. Ishwins, a right-hand man of mine. Um, he's also been around since Nubs. But the thing is, uh, whenever I stream or something he's he's basically a, he's the mod he's the guy that um makes the fucking quirky joke and gets the community together and whenever i need someone to be there i look to my right and that's where he's at and he's a fucking amazing individual h ones love you dude another person's been around for a little bit um but has become a big influential part of the community if you look at my discord he's one of the most com he's one that talks the most and the thing too is that um whenever i needed someone to talk to he's there he's honest and he's brutally and i love him um is ali Ali, for watching this too, thank you so much. And I think honestly, you're already on par with a lot of these people I'm talking about. that have been here for fucking years. The other person is Cade. If you need someone that's going to be like just supportive of everything you do, it's him. Um, whenever I look in a fucking comment section of video, he's there like, oh yeah, that's great. He's one of the fucking first too, like in crazy amount, like crazy time too. Um, whenever I do a community post, he's there. Whenever I have questions about something, he's there. Um, he's there. He's there. He's there. Um, another person I'd like to talk about is Infinity. Good friend of mine. I actually knew him before Nubs, but um, he's someone I've been growing with a friendship lately, and um, to the point where it's like you know we'll just jump on calls, and um, he'll give me honest advice about what to do with the content. Or um, he's the one who actually made a few memes and things I've looked at the channel. So awesome. Um, another person is Jelly. You guys already know his, this person, but um, Jelly's been a good friend of mine for a while. And the way I can describe him, he's very important because um, whenever I need someone to like cover my back, he's there. He's the reason I don't flip out because he's he's literally he's got my back whenever I need like oh can you fix this on the server can you do this can you do that for um working on the Discord doing a YouTube video moderation he's the guy that does it without question it's not always there but when he is he's always got my back and he's the reason I can always focus forward um another person is Lemon Lemon um is someone that just does things without asking for anything in return that's who Lemon is um she's the one that's actually done all the uh, the banner art and um, most of the other um emotes that you'll see but um lemon if you're watching this thank you so much for being on this an angel um and then finally lee soon this, this is a person that isn't actually on youtube a lot and he's actually not um on anything really that much um except for the discord i actually found him from youtube through the lamando series but um the thing is he's always been 
probably one of the most active on Discord. And um, going saying this without saying it, we had an argument earlier, um, earlier in the year. And um, out of everyone that was in it, because it was kind of like a group thing, um, everyone else I didn't ban, but I banned him. Or I kicked him. Well, the funny thing is, everyone else is gone now, and he's the only one that stayed, because I, I invite, re invited him. And he's been more than active and more than, you know, supportive of everyone that's there. And uh, he, he feels like a family member. So, please, if you're watching this, I, uh, it's ironic, but, you know, so I love you, dude. Thank you. Um, those are the people, and that's why I probably took the most time on this. But, um, what now? Well, now is obviously we can't just say, oh, we did it. The thing is, we just reached the starting point. That's what this means. And um, to keep this video genuine, that's why I'm not going to edit this one. Um, we're going to reach 7K next. And my goal by the end of the year is 10,000. I want to reach 10,000. So if you're watching this and, and, and maybe you want to collab or something, a shout out would be nice. Just all I'm saying. But, 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 but on the off chance that doesn't happen, because most likely, guess what? We're, 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 we're fucking underdogs. We're going to have to push the passes. And that means we're going to need you. We're going to need you to help me do this shit. Because um, there's no way in the hell that we're going to be able to do this alone. And um, I know that this is going to happen because I have more faith than ever before. And I know you guys do too. Um, this isn't something that you just fucking pray for. It's something that you have to make fucking happen. And that's what we're going to do. Um, I've been able to really hone down and think about what I want out of this. And if I'm just willing to let this die. And if we want to do great things, we have to do great, if not more. You know what I mean? You have to be extraordinary to get extraordinary results. And that's what we're doing. Um, and I feel like, at least for me, whenever I have a goal for like, let's say like a New Year's resolution, I don't think anymore, oh, here's all my goals. I think every year has to be the best year of my life. And that's what's going to happen this year. We're going to make it the best. So everyone that's watching, you got to grit your teeth. We have to surpass our limits right here, right now. And that's what we're going to do. Because I know that you're here. I know that you see this. I know that you see the results. And any time that uh, I know something's going to work out, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop. And I have a fiery passion right now that I know you feel as well. So, um, even though I'm just looking through a screener now that probably a bunch of microconductors, I see you and I know that this is something that you have to be passionate about. And, uh, I'm just grateful to know that you're here and that you're the one that's with me. So thank you. So as always guys, we're finally at the start line. Let's use this ticket and, uh, let's keep piercing through the heavens, my friends. So remember. Smile, keep your head up, and uh, let's fight for a future so bright. Be so much for eyes. My name is Blue Design, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Whoop.